We can get exact values of sine, cosine, and tangent for some special angles in standard position. Here we'll look at four angles that have a reference angle of 45 degrees. We'll start by drawing an X and Y axis. Then we'll add a circle that has a radius of 1. We'll draw an initial side along the X axis. We'll put a mark here on the circle at 45 degrees from the X axis. And we'll draw a terminal arm here and label the angle as 45 degrees. We'll construct a table to show our values at four different special angles. We'll add a right triangle here. The reference angle for a 45 degree angle in standard position is also 45 degrees. The X and Y coordinates for this point are both positive root 2 over 2. You may be wondering how we get these coordinates for X and Y. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, so the legs are equal and we'll call them both X. The hypotenuse is the same as the radius of our circle, which is 1. Pythagoras tells us that X squared plus X squared is 1 squared. Therefore, 2X squared equals 1. So X squared equals 1 half, and X equals 1 over the square root of 2. Rationalizing the denominator gives us x equals root 2 over 2. So both of the legs of this triangle have a length of root 2 over 2. Which means the x and y coordinates of this point are both equal to positive root 2 over 2. In other quadrants, these can be positive or negative, depending on which quadrant. Now we'll continue by determining values for this 45 degree angle. 45 degrees is equal to 45 times pi over 180 or pi over 4 radians. The sine of 45 is y over r, which is positive root 2 over 2 over 1, or positive root 2 over 2. The cosine of 45 degrees is x over r, which is also positive root 2 over 2 over 1, or positive root 2 over 2. And the tangent of 45 degrees is y over x, which is positive root 2 over 2 over positive root 2 over 2, which is equal to positive 1. Notice the sine, cosine, and tangent are all positive for this angle. This is the case for all angles in quadrant 1. Now we'll put a mark over here in quadrant 2, which corresponds to a principal angle of 135 degrees. We'll draw an arrow to show the terminal arm of this angle. The coordinates are negative root 2 over 2 for x and positive root 2 over 2 for y. 135 degrees is equal to 3 pi over 4 radians. To find the sine, cosine, and tangent, we draw a right triangle here. The reference angle for the principal angle, 135 degrees, is 45 degrees. To get the sine of 135, we base it on the reference angle, 45 degrees. But we pay close attention as to whether it's positive or negative. The sine is y over r, or positive root 2 over 2 over 1, which is positive root 2 over 2. Notice the sine is positive. This is true for any angle in the second quadrant. The cosine is x over r, which is negative root 2 over 2 over 1, or negative root 2 over 2. The cosine of any angle in the second quadrant is negative. The tangent is y over x, which is positive root 2 over 2 divided by negative root 2 over 2. This comes out to negative 1. The tangent of any angle in the second quadrant is negative. The next point we'll look at here is in quadrant 3. This corresponds to a principal angle of 225 degrees. We'll draw on the terminal arm to show this angle. The coordinates for this point are negative root 2 over 2 for x and negative root 2 over 2 for y. 225 degrees is equal to 5 pi over 4 radians. We'll draw a right triangle here to get the reference angle. The reference angle for the principal angle 225 degrees is 45 degrees. The sine is y over r, which is negative root 2 over 2 over 1, or negative root 2 over 2. The sine of any angle in the third quadrant is negative. The cosine is x over r, which is negative root 2 over 2 over 1, or negative root 2 over 2. The cosine of any angle in the third quadrant is negative. The tangent is y over x, which is negative root 2 over 2, divided by negative root 2 over 2, which is positive 1. The tangent of any angle in the third quadrant is positive. The last angle we'll look at is in the fourth quadrant. We'll put a mark here. 
This corresponds to a principal angle of 315 degrees. We'll draw in the terminal arm of this angle. The coordinates of this point are positive root 2 over 2 for x and negative root 2 over 2 for y. 315 degrees is equal to 7 pi over 4 radians. We'll draw in the right triangle to get the reference angle. The reference angle here is 45 degrees. The sine is y over r, which is negative root 2 over 2 over 1, or negative root 2 over 2. The sine of any angle in the fourth quadrant is negative. The cosine is x over r, which is positive root 2 over 2 over 1, or positive root 2 over 2. The cosine of any angle in the fourth quadrant is positive. The tangent is y over x, which is negative root 2 over 2 over positive root 2 over 2, or negative 1. The tangent of any angle in the fourth quadrant is negative. We'll number the quadrants as 1, 2, 3, and 4, starting at 1 and moving counterclockwise around the circle. In quadrant 1, the sine, cosine, and tangent are all positive, so we can write an A here for all. In quadrant 2, only the sine is positive. The cosine and tangent are both negative, so we can write an S here for sine. In quadrant 3, only the tangent is positive. The sine and cosine are both negative, so we can write a T here for tangent. And in quadrant 4, only the cosine is positive. The sine and tangent are both negative. So we can write a C here for cosine. We can easily remember these by starting at quadrant 1 and going counterclockwise. A sentence like all students take calculus, whether it's true or not, will help us remember which quantities are positive in each quadrant. It is very important to get the sign correct on all the quantities we calculate. Here's a quick summary of the four angles we looked at and their values. These angles all have a reference angle of 45 degrees. Make sure you know how to find all the values for these and which values are positive and which are negative.